Today, NASA honored its next generation of space travelers. After more than two years of basic training, the 12 brand new Artemis astronauts earned their wings at the Johnson Space Center. Quite exciting. Now, Michelle Choi was at the pinning ceremony and introduces us to the graduating class. Yeah, today's ceremony includes 10 NASA astronauts and two astronauts from the United Arab Emirates. Today's ceremony is a big milestone for this group who are now space ready. All right, please welcome NASA's 23rd astronaut class. Made up of seven men and five women, astronaut group 23. This class is made up of engineers, scientists, a doctor, helicopter pilots, and jet pilots. We have both military and civilian backgrounds. Is NASA's newest class of Artemis astronauts. More affectionately known as the Flies, a name given to them by the previous class, today's pinning ceremony a recognition of their hard work. Today we get to celebrate your successful completion of two years of rigorous training to become astronauts. Training that included spacewalking, robotics, T-38 jet proficiency, and more. Selected from a pool of 12,000 applicants, these 12 astronauts are now eligible for space flights, which include trips to the International Space Station, the moon, and eventually to Mars. Vanessa Weish. Today, we're operating more human spacecraft than ever before. Is the director of the Johnson Space Center. Today, graduating uh, a variety of individuals, but together their collective that they're going to be bringing uh, to exploration is uh, something that's going to be of benefit to all of us going very far forward into the future. NASA's newest astronauts include Anil Menon, who pursued his residency in aerospace medicine at UTMB Galveston. When asked what the Artemis mission means to him. We're going to see new conditions. It's just going to expand the sphere of medicine as we understand it in space and as we understand it on the ground. And I'm excited about that because I love medicine. And as for Nicole Ayers, who was a major in the U.S. Air Force and got her master's from Rice University. Working and living here, it, you, it feels like you're constantly walking uh, where someone else walked previously. So the, the current and the previous astronauts and this whole area is just full of so much history. So I can't wait to follow in their footsteps. Michelle Choi, KHOU 11 News. That is